Okay guys, finally I am done with this warship which is of course the Type 45 destroyer of the Royal Navy Yeah, I just like this uh, This took me, I think a total of two days and just as the other rushed uh, builds if this thing doesn't also have a bow see i'm not done yet with it so and we'll just have a good look at it while we're you know uh, speaking <laughs> well i will say some infos okay so okay so the type 45 destroyer also known as the d yeah just a simple way to put it out or the Daring class destroyer is a class of six missile guided destroyer built for the Re United Kingdom's Royal Navy in the 21st century. The class is primarily designed for anti-aircraft and anti-submarine warfare, built around the PAEMS Sea Viper air defense system, uh, utilizing the Samson active electronically electronically solar array uh, and uh, S1850M long-range radars which are one of these things I don't know anyways the first three destroyers were assembled by BEE systems uh, BEE systems maritime naval ships yeah uh, I mean assembled by BEE systems surface solution surface fleet solutions from particularly prefab prefabricated blocks uh, and built at different shipyards the remaining three were built in in BAE system maritime naval naval ships the first ships of in the daring class uh, HMS daring of course was launched on February 1 2006 and commissioned on the 23 of July 2009 well, We're gonna go ahead to a class overview Of course the name is uh, Type 45 destroyer Built by BAE systems maritime naval ships operated by of course the Royal Navy preceded by the Type 42 and succeeded by the Type 83 the cost is over one 1.50 billion pound I guess per ship and built between 2003 and 2010 there were 12 planned as of 2000 but in 2004 they changed it to just 8 and there was just actually 6 ordered what the f uh, there are 6 completed and 6 still active Okay, so we're gonna go over general characteristics. Uh, of course, the type is guided missile destroyer. Displacement of seven thousand three hundred fifty to eight thousand five hundred tons. Length of one hundred fifty-two point four meters. Beam of twenty-one point two meters. Draft of seven point four meters. Installed power or the pretty much the engines, whatever is two Rolls-Royce WR21 gas turbines with a war Watsela Celia whatever Watsela <laughs> uh, 12V200 oh V200 oh yeah okay diesel generators yeah uh, propulsion to shaft integrated electronic propulsion and then in a, in, we're gonna go to speed uh, the speed is in excess of 32 this knots <laughs> range is in excess of 7,000 nautical miles it complements uh, 191 combinations I mean complements 191 it accommodates for up to 285 sensors processing system samsung multi-function 
air tracking radar uh, we have a Raytheon integrated bridge and navigation system two Raytheon AHRS INS another two Raytheon I-band radar uh, yeah uh, ultra Electro electronic series to two five hundred electronic optical gun control system Okay, so we're gonna go through its development the development okay so the UK had sought to pro procure a new class of air defense guided missile destroyer in collaboration with seven other NATO members under the NFR 90 project the project collapsed due to varying requirements from different countries involved then <coughs> and then the UK joined the France in Italy in the horizon class frigate program however differing national requirements also balked it whatever and workshare agreements has the and delays led to the UK withdrawing on April 29th to I mean 9 1999 I mean on yeah and starting its own national project on November 23 1999 Marconi electric system was confirmed to be the prime contractor for the type 45 project seven days later Marconi electronic system and British aerospace merged to form BAE systems making the latter to be the prime contractor okay so yeah that is all the info about the type 45 destroyer or the D of the Royal Navy and yeah of course have the primary gun there have vertical launch cells and as you see lots of radars you know, have this long thing uh, with this yeah, a radar though. <laughs> have this very big antenna. And we have another radar. It have two series phalanx on the side. You have the smokestack. I don't know what these things are, but I'm guessing those are supposed to be modern recoilless rifle. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> of course, we have the flight deck here and of course the hangar wait I should put a door here just like that wait it's too high just like that yeah so yeah that's it for the type 45 destroyer and if you like this just like share subscribe and turn the notification bell so you would be notified on my next video.